you really know that spring has arrived when you see asparagus at the farmer's market. Yeah, you can get it all year round at the supermarket, but you don't see it coming into your farmer's market until the first of spring. So I'm super excited because the asparagus is finally here and I'm gonna make a delicious seasonal. You guys are always asking for seasonal and I love seasonal just as much as the next guy, salad. So this is your asparagus, just as seasonal as the next guy's salad, just for you guys. I have a pound of asparagus. This is a great bunch of asparagus. So what I like to do is just break off one and it'll naturally break at the tender spot. You get rid of that end and then you just line them all up and cut them at the same spot on all the rest of the asparagus. It saves a lot of time, believe me. Put them on a baking sheet. Toss it with olive oil a little bit. Not too much, about a tablespoon. Don't overdo it. I overdid it the other day. My asparagus were super greasy. I know, you're surprised to hear that from me, aren't you? Season it and some salt, toss it. And then roast it at 450 degrees until they're sort of a little bit charred in spots and tender. That should take 20 to 25 minutes. Now you wanna make a vinaigrette. Two teaspoons of grainy mustard. You could use Dijon. We're big fans of mustard here, especially. But in vinaigrette, they add great body, texture, flavor, all of that stuff. Two tablespoons of unseasoned rice vinegar. And then three tablespoons of olive oil. Did you notice how I was going to measure the vinegar but not measure the olive oil? That's me in a nutshell. I guess if you're going to go ahead and measure your vinegar, you might as well measure your olive oil too. Give that a little bit of whisk. A little bit of whisk, and then it gets a quarter cup of chives. Just remove the damaged ends. If the tips are a little bit damaged, get rid of those. The chive is very mild and delicious and springy, and it's gonna add a lot of flavor. And then add them in. It looks like about a quarter cup, right? A little bit of salt. And your vinaigrette is finny, and you're done. This is a very springy, kind of thick vinaigrette. It's gonna have a lot of body and flavor to stand up to the sort of assertive earthiness of the asparagus. Now, to serve your delicious salad, how about serving it with a little ricotta on toast? What do you think about that? Do you like it? I like it. Cut four nice slices of rustic bread, or for as many people as you're serving. Here's my rustic-o-meter. <laughs> you know how rustic it is by the amount of crumbs that it makes on the board when you're cutting it. No crumbs, not rustic. Some crumbs, rustic. Lots of crumbs, extra rustic. <laughs> there you have it, my rustic bread -o meter Brush your toast with some of the vinaigrette. Onto a tray. You're gonna wanna cook these at 450 in the same oven with the asparagus for about eight minutes. Flip them halfway through. I have three radish. I'm just gonna thinly slice them. And radish come into season right around the same time as asparagus, so they're a great accompaniment. And they go into a nice big bowl of greens. I have some Boston lettuce and arugula. Lettuce, radish, and asparagus are all in season at the same time, so they're at their peak of deliciousness in the spring. Now it's time to flip my bread. You can give the asparagus a little shake too. Back in the oven, dress your salad. Lunch is served. Drizzle most but not all of the dressing over the top and toss it. Save a little bit to top off your asparagus. Yummy. Asparagi, toast. What's better than toast? Nothing. Nothing at all. Is it time to eat? I think it is. Give yourself a little bit of salad. Plenty of salad here. Be generous, delicious and light, so don't worry. <laughs> Piece of toast, spread it with some ricotta. If you don't have access to ricotta, you don't wanna use that, you could put a little Parmesan shavings on top of this if you were interested. Mm. Mm. Asparagus, don't forget that, the most important part. Mm. Happy days, people. And then drizzle with just a little bit of that vinaigrette. Et voila. Doesn't that look springy and delicious? There you have it. Light and delicious. It really doesn't get any springier than that. Roasted asparagus, ricotta toast, and delicate, delicate salad. Enjoy. Spring! It's completely appropriate to eat asparagus with your fingers, by the way, in the etiquette books.